You want to make Greater Manchester the greenest city in Europe. Uh, it's a lovely idea. Um, how are you going to do this? Well, the, the UK actually, Piers. I'm not going that far just yet. But at the moment, the UK is on a pathway to be carbon neutral by 2050. Zero carbon by 2050. All the experts say that is too slow. The damage will be done if we stick on that path. The temperature rise will be irreversible. Uh, so what I'm saying today is, using devolution that we have here in Greater Manchester, can we break off that path uh, and set a new ambition? And that is to bring forward the date by at least 10 years, make Greater Manchester zero carbon by 2040. You know, for me, it's about embracing the future. At some point this century, we will all have to have zero carbon homes, uh, zero carbon cars, all buildings will be zero carbon. You know, let's embrace that future now because actually the quicker we do, I think there will be economic benefits that flow. Uh, what, young people will be trained car, in the skills that they need. And that's the argument I'm putting to Greater Manchester today. Okay. What car do you drive? What, what car do you drive? Uh, I drive a Vauxhall. Gas guzzling? A Vauxhall. Insignia. Is it gas guzzling? Uh, yeah, it's, it's an eco uh, version. It's zero, it's zero tax. But, uh, you know, I'm not... Piers, I'm not, I'm not going to come on and say, uh, unlike you, I, I, I don't think I'm perfect. You know, I, I don't do everything right. I'm about challenging myself today, but also everybody here in Greater Manchester. You know, the time has come, I think. We see the damage to the oceans. It's time to take a stand, I think, and that's what we're, uh, we're going to do today. I mean, look, just to clarify, I've never actually claimed to be perfect, although I'm, I'm glad you've raised the, the suggestion I might be. <laughs> uh, no, but there is a point, isn't there, Only, about... jo only joking. What, yeah. I, what I hear a lot from, from the public is they get a bit sick and tired with the kind of Leo DiCaprios of this world who preach about the environment all the time and then get their private planes. You're the mayor of Manchester. Wouldn't it be fitting if you want Manchester to be the greenest city in the country if you yourself led the way in the way you conduct your own life and had the least gas guzzling car well, for example well I've got I've just said to you I've got a zero rated car for tax it's a, an eco uh, version house here is fully now powered by renewable energy we made that switch and here's what I'd say to that ordinary person that you talk about when we made that change, my wife did it, by the way, not me, she, she does these things, but when we made that change, we saved a lot of money on our annual energy bills. So going fully renewable in terms of our energy supply saved us money. And that's the point, isn't it? Everyone thinks of the environmental agenda about about cost. Mr is somebody who is trying to be a leader on this. Why did you leave it to your wife to do it? Well, that... She did it. I mean, I, you know, that's what she, she uh, always handles these things. I do other things. Uh, she uh, deals with the, with the uh, bills. Mayor of, uh, you're the mayor of bills. Manchester, <laughs> and you're, you want the city to be the greenest in the country, but you, let all your, wife do it. but you let your wife make all the decisions about the environment. It seems a bit weird, doesn't it? Well, she's, she's very passionate about it, and uh, lots of people are. And in some ways, actually, she's challenged me uh, and said, why aren't you doing more? And that's fair enough. Uh, I need to be challenged. Uh, you know, I'm in a position where I can do something. So I'm not, yeah, I'm not coming on to say I'm perfect. I'm not coming <laughs> on to say I've done everything uh, right. What I am saying is the time has come for us all to question ourselves uh, and make, uh, make a change. I think, you know, politicians claiming that they're perfect often, I think, uh, undermines uh, confidence. I'm, I'm saying today, let's do this together. Okay. Everybody challenge themselves. And actually what I'm hoping today is that Greater Manchester will launch a plastics-free Greater Manchester campaign, well, you've got the your first city region out. in the country. Uh, yeah, our bars and restaurants having a concerted drive to drive down use of plastics. OK, here's the scale of your problem, because the River Tame at Denton was found to have had the highest levels of microplastics recorded anywhere in the world. Wow. That's on your watch. Blimey. Worse than South Korea or Hong Kong. Well... 517,000 particles uh, per M2. Higher than the Incheon Kiyongi well, beaches in, in South Korea. Uh, Piers, I think. Yeah. Seriously, I mean, that, that's well, terrible, absolutely. And you know, I, I saw that headline last week, and yeah, it's it's, it's a bad uh, thing to see, isn't it? I mean, I don't think every river in the world was uh, was tested as part of that research. However, doesn't doesn't detract from the point, does it? And you're absolutely right. And so, surely, somebody in my position 
being presented with information like that needs to do something. And I am doing uh, something. As I say, we, we, we're not necessarily saying today we've got it all sorted and we're perfect. What we are saying is we think the rest of the country is on a pathway that's too slow. We're going to do what Greater Manchester does best, do things differently, uh, challenge uh, the, uh, the status quo uh, and see if we can go on a quicker pathway to become zero carbon. Right. Okay. And we hope, actually, that others may, may begin to do the same. Yeah. OK, well, I just hope that your wife has a word with you this morning and you get a less gas-guzzling car by tomorrow, Mr Burnham. She will, yeah. Don't you worry, Piers. She's <laughs> already uh, giving me plenty of uh, pointers. So <laughs> Next time, perhaps we better interview your wife, Andy Burnham. <laughs> thanks, thanks very much indeed. Good to see you this morning. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be... Uh, Ready Willie? for that. We now, we now know who wears the eco trousers in that, in that marriage. <laughs>